And now I'm talking to Miriam O'Callaghan from RT. Miriam, how's life going RT? It's absolutely brilliant and I'm delighted to be here tonight to launch Archie's Great Exhibition for the Hope Foundation. And how do you know the Hope Foundation? Are you involved in... Like, I know you're, you, you, you're launching the exhibition today, but how do you know... I'm launching the exhibition for two reasons. One, I know Archie down the years from him taking photographs of me. And secondly, I'm very involved with the Hope Foundation and I do fundraisers for them and with them. So I was delighted when the proceeds of this exhibition were going to the Hope Foundation. Uh, how long are you involved with the Hope Foundation? Oh, a long time. Going back years, can't remember, but a long time. It's a great organisation. Yeah, and have you ever been to Kolkata to, to see the work they do? I haven't actually, no. A daughter of mine went when she was in school and she was incredibly moved by it. But Maureen Forrest and everyone in Hope does so much, so I'm proud to be part yeah. of it. I didn't know you were launching it, so you're kind of the surprise launcher, are you? Because it wasn't advertised, I don't think you're going to launch. Yeah, I'm not much of a surprise, but I am the surprise launcher, yeah. I'm delighted to be here. And now I'm talking to Archie Karen, uh, you're a photographer. Who who were you a photographer where you're a freelance uh, journal or a photographer? Yeah? Well, I know I work for the Irish Independent. Oh, yeah. uh, and have you been involved in working in this business long? Uh, well, I've been about 14 years a photographer, um, working from regional papers up to uh, agencies here in the city and now with the Irish Independent. And have you, I know we're here today to talk about the Hope Foundation in, in Kolkata, but have you travelled much doing photography around the world? Like? Yeah, well, I've been to a few places. I've been to Cuba, uh, been to India a couple of times, uh, been to Turkey and uh, Israel and Egypt, uh, but they were a good while ago. This is uh, all more recent now. I started doing more travel photography again. Yeah, and how did you get involved to help in the, uh, the Hope Foundation? Well, I went over two years ago f- uh, to India for the first time and um, I'd done lots of photographs. And when I came back, I kind of looked at all the kids that I'd been photographing and that. And I kind of said, you know, you'd like to do something to help out. Uh, can't do much, but do what you can. And so I, I looked up the various charities in Ireland that work out in uh, India. And I came across Hope and I read up on their, um, their mission statement and what to do. And, I thought, yeah, these seem like a, they're a small charity, but they seem to do really good work. So I contacted them and met up with them and found out a bit more about them. And, uh, yeah, I just thought they were a good fit. You, were you over there in Kolkata for, for, for uh, long with the Hope Foundation? No, I didn't actually go over with the Hope Foundation. I went over on my own the first time, and then this year I went over a second time, and I'd arranged with Hope to meet up with them in Calcutta when I was there. Um, but unfortunately, um, by the time I got to Kolkata, I was uh, I came down with Delhi Belly and um, ended up in three, bed for three days, so I didn't actually get to see the Kolkata after all. So I'm, I'm hoping to go back to Kolkata again. Yeah, and um, are you proud of all these photographs? Uh, like, uh, what do you think of the issue of street children in Kolkata? How hard is their life like? Uh, well, their life is it, it is pretty difficult. I mean, it's hard to quantify. Uh, I mean, you can see that they're not malnourished. Uh, you can see that they're not... Uh, I mean, the ones that I had seen now, I know uh, Hope Book with kids that are really disadvantaged. I didn't get to see that, much, that far down the rabbit hole, but... The, the ones that I've seen were, a lot of them did go to school, but the ones that didn't, the families had them out, maybe collecting plastics and that, you know, to try and earn some money for the family. Mm-hmm. Um, so at the same time, they seemed quite happy. Uh, they definitely seemed like they weren't undernourished or anything like that. But uh, you could see in their clothes and the fact that someone weren't wearing shoes and that, that's, uh, you know, it was a hard life. And are you uh, happy with these? Are you proud of your photographs here? It's like, look, they look great. Like, they look, look yeah, great. I'm, yeah. I'm delighted the way it turned out. Um, like I said, it wasn't the intention to end up uh, yeah. with this one. I went over originally, but uh, yeah, there's a lot of work went into this. I've spent a lot of time around different cities, and now that it's up here on the walls, yeah, I'm, I'm delighted with it all. Right. Are these for sale already? They are, yeah, they are for sale, and all the proceeds from the sales will be going to the Hope Foundation, uh, which is the idea behind it. So. Uh, hopefully they will sell. I have no money. Is there anything you want to say? Um, no, just uh, if anybody uh, would like to come in and have a look at us, um, the are for sale, but if you can't afford to buy any of the photographs, uh, any donations you'd like to give it to the Hope Foundation would be very much appreciated. Yeah, thanks very much. Thanks very much. Cheers, now. And now I'm talking to Maureen Forrest, uh, founder of the Hope Foundation. Maureen, uh, 
congratulations first of all on being the founder of the whole foundation. Could you, could you tell us, we haven't got a lot of time here, we're at a busy event, but could you tell us when and kind of just a bit of the story of how you started the Hope Foundation, please? I founded the Hope Foundation in 1999, but that was the start of the journey of Hope. But I had been to Calcutta many times before that, and I'd worked in Somalia and in Rwanda. But I decided when I returned to Calcutta with my daughter Louise, and I saw the thousands of street children living horrendous lives on the streets, that I could do something positive. So we decided at that stage that we possibly, if we helped one home and set up, set up one home for 16 children, it would be wonderful just to help that, those little girls. But over the years, this has grown and grown and grown, and it's an absolutely incredible organization now, reaching out to thousands of children, 55,000 children mainstreamed into school, over a million helped in our health care. And, of course, uh, all the children we have in our care, um, we have a drugs rehabilitation unit. So it's, it's, it's a, an organization that's run very cost-effectively. You can see the results of our work uh, by all the children that we are helping. Yeah, and uh, I'd like to maybe at some other stage uh, interview you again more in depth. We haven't got the time to talk. We've been talking for ages today. But can you tell us a bit about this photo exhibition, please? Uh, this is a photography exhibition uh, uh, that was uh, taken uh, by Archie Kern. And Archie had been to India and uh, he mostly took photographs of street life. And he came across the poverty of the children. And when he returned, he decided that he would use his photographs. And um, he's, he's helping Hope by actually selling the photographs in aid of Hope. But it's a wonderful idea, and Archie is a wonderful person, so thank you. Okay, and uh, if any of our listeners want to help the Hope Foundation in Kolkata, what would be the best places to find out more information about this? If you go to our web www.hopefoundation.ie Okay, more. I'll talk to you again, maybe in more in-depth interview. Thanks very much. Thank you so much. Thank you.